In the heart of Cameroon's lush, volcanic highlands lies Lake Neos, a tranquil mirror of blue, encircled by silent forests and scattered villages. But beneath its calm surface, an invisible force was gathering, biding its time. No one suspected that this serene lake was a ticking time bomb. August 21st, 1986. The day began like any other. Fishermen cast their nets, children played along the shore, cattle grazed in the rolling fields. No one could sense the menace lurking deep beneath the water, a vast reservoir of carbon dioxide, trapped by volcanic forces and growing with every passing year. In the dead of night, the earth trembled. Some say it was a landslide, others a shift in the volcanic bedrock. Whatever the cause, it triggered a deadly chain reaction. From the black heart of the lake, a violent plume of CO2 rushed upward, breaking free at last. The gas erupted in a thunderous roar, sending a frothy wave surging across the water's surface. In an instant, an invisible cloud spilled over Neos's banks, rolling silently through the valleys at hurricane speed. It was heavier than air, hugging the ground, filling every hollow, every home. There was no warning, no time to run, People and animals dropped where they stood, as if the night itself had stolen their breath. By dawn, 1,700 men, women, ae, and children lay lifeless. Thousands of cattle, birds, and wild creatures shared their fate. The villages were eerily quiet. No cries, no footsteps, just a haunting stillness. Survivors described the air as thick, bitter, impossible to breathe. Lake Neos stands today as a chilling reminder Beneath the most peaceful surfaces, the earth can hide nightmares beyond imagination. And sometimes, horror strikes not with fire or fury, but with a silent, suffocating embrace.